Hi, I'm a Watson. What's going on in England? My name is Daniel. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Salzburg in Austria. Now, as you can see, although it's winter, there's no snow here at all. When I was a small boy, I used to ski down these slopes a lot, but there's no chance of doing so anymore due to climate change. Anyway, here's my question. How do you think can fair trade be made more popular so that more people actually buy these products, also knowing that they can not only help small-scale producers, but also help mitigate climate change? That's it. Greetings from Austria and I wish you the best of luck. Hello Daniel from Austria. Um, I loved your uh, movie clip. I loved seeing you um, outside in the mountains in Austria. So I wanted to ask you a question about how fair trade can be made um, more popular so that more people buy it and um, can help mitigate climate change and um, uh, help people in marginalised communities. And I thought it was a great question. I guess it's just spreading the word, you know, among young people, um, it's about publicity and promotion and just drawing attention to it and the idea of it and so that young people when they look at what they buy um, they really think about um, the standards that um, were involved in making the item of clothing that they are buying. It's a great question and um, thank you very much for sending it in and I hope that answered your question. Hi Emma, my name is Freya and I'm 16 and I was wondering what you think sets people to apart from other fair trade fashion designers and what your favourite piece of clothing to wear was from the collection. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hello Freya, um, your accent sounds English, um, so I'm guessing that's where you're from. So you asked what makes People Tree different from other um, fair trade brands. I guess what drew me to People Tree is that, you know, not only does it have this kind of standard of, you know, making sure that um, the workers who make the clothes that they sell are given a fair price for their work. They also um, work to ensure that all of the cotton they use is organic, so they're not polluting the environment, and they're also committed to um, mitigating climate change. Um, so they kind of, they do three, you know, really, really important things. I think that makes them kind of stand out um, from other brands. Um, they really do everything. They really are committed to helping people and the environment and um, and promoting fair trade as a whole really. They're an amazing company and um, I'm like really pleased with the work that I'm doing with them and yeah, I'm having a great time. Anyway, great question and um, thank you for sending it in. Hello Emma, I'm Haruka and I'm 20 years old now. And I hear you're studying in Boston. So uh, more students are aware of fair trade British students or American students, please tell me. And I hope you will come to Japan in some day. Bye bye. Hello, Haruka from uh, Japan. Um, thank you for sending in your message. You asked whether you thought fair trade was bigger among British students or American students. And I've been thinking about it. I'm not. I. I honestly couldn't tell you. I think it's probably equally um, publicised in each country. Um, I, although I would say that I'm aware more of fair trade and ethical clothing in the UK than I am in the States. But then the States um, has a more kind of fair trade and organic produce. I haven't found so many um, American fair trade clothing brands um, yet, but I haven't been there as long as I've been in the UK, so maybe that's why. Um, but yeah, a really interesting question and um, thank you and um, I hope that I do get the chance to visit Japan sometime soon. Hi, <laughs> I'm Ashley to do Air Watson. Um, I want to ask you what you think that fair trade will eventually reduce poverty even though fair trade doesn't operate on such a large economic scale as both companies do. Um, because um, I love fair trade. I, uh, I've got fair trade tea, especially the green fair trade tea. It's really good. Um, I've got fair trade earrings. And I, um, well, I've, I've got fair trade wallet, fair trade bags. 
I, I, um, I buy a lot of fair trade things, but the problem is that my friends are a bit skeptical and they always give me sort of this, you know, economic opposition as if they believe that we won't really benefit from fair trade. So my question to you is, what arguments do you give to pessimistic people um, to sort of convince them that fair trade will eventually also be really good for us? Hi Julia, um, I really loved the video that you sent in, um, it was one of my favourites. Um, your bedroom seems really cool by the way. I wanted to try my best to answer your question. You said that um, fair trade doesn't operate on a large economic scale and you said that a lot of your friends were very cynical and very pessimistic that fair trade actually makes a difference and I mean <laughs> The biggest difficulty with this issue is that you you can't really see the difference that it that it makes because um, this is going on, you know, um, in third world countries and and you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of, of miles away from where you're actually buying what you're wearing. Um, but what I would say is that you know fair trade and particularly people tree. Um, you know, it helps in, in, 